God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, and we'll begin reading at verse number 10. And it says, He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Amen. God bless you. Today uh, is Wednesday, which is prayer day at the Encouraging Word. And we praise God um, for uh, the opportunity to make the devotionals and for all who respond to the devotional. And uh, we just thank God for those who take the time to do it. Um, on this week, we had a devotional that said, Let God be God. And one response that we received um, said, It's a good thing that God is God and He doesn't need our permission to be God. So we don't have to let Him. Um, and we praise God for the response, but it, it stirs our spirits and it troubles us because God is God, yes. And we don't have to allow Him to be God. But we do have to allow him to be our God. In other words, it goes past whether he's God. The question is whether he's your God, whether he's my God. As we see in the scripture text, Jesus, the Son of God, came into the earth. Some people rejected him. Some people accepted him. Only those who accepted him received the power to become children of God. And that's the point. It's a matter of our choice. We have to allow God to be our God, to lead us, guide us, teach us, protect us, and so on. That's a personal choice. We have to make that quality decision. So on today, we just simply want to pray. We want to go before God, have a conversation with Him, and to decree certain things so that they may be established in our lives. That we, as children of God, fully grant God permission to be our God. That means he has the right to tell us what to do, where to go, and how to do it. We have to make that decision. So today, we just want to pray and go unto God, making this declaration that not only is God God, but he's our God. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you yes. right now, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you are God of heaven and earth, yes, but you are also a personal God. You described yourself, dear Lord, as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Yes, Father. And Father, we come and we stand before you today and declare that you are our God as well. Yes, Father. Father, we have invited Jesus Christ into our hearts, and by doing so, we have been reconciled unto you, thereby you are our God, yes. and we are are your people. Yes. And Father, on this day, we just declare and decree that we allow you to be our God. We allow you to be our shepherd. Yes. To lead us and guide us where we should go. Yes. To lead us beside the still waters. And Father, even if we find ourselves in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil because we know that as our God, you are with us. Yes. You will never leave yes. us nor forsake yes. us. Mm -hmm. We declare that you are our shepherd. We declare, God, that you are our teacher. Yes. And so we will show up for Bible study, praise God. Yes. We will show up for our daily readings. And we will show up, God, with an alert and attentive heart that we may receive everything that you desire to teach us. Yes. For you are our teacher. Father, we declare today that you are our provider. Yes. So we won't get caught up in the world system trying to be uh, keep up with the Joneses, but God... We truly will look to you to supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory yes, through Christ Jesus because you are our provider. We make that declaration today, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father, we also declare that you are our protector. Yes, Father, Lord. we will not fear attack. And Father, we will not seek revenge because, Father, we know, O oh God, that you allow us to dwell in the secret place of the yes, Most Lord. High and to Thank abide you, under your yes. mighty shadow. We yes, declare Lord. that our lives Thank are Jesus. hid with Christ yes. and that no weapon formed against yes. us shall prosper. You, and so, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we allow you to be our protector. 
And God, we allow you to be our master. Yes. Father, the Bible says that your word is settled in heaven. Father, it is settled in our hearts as well. If you said it, that settles it for us, God. We declare today that your word is the final authority yes. for our lives. Yes. We make that decision today to allow your word to be our compass, to be that lamp and that, and that light that allows us to walk yes. in confidence yes. in victory. Yes. Father, yes. in these ways and many others, we simply bow down before you. We humble ourselves under your hand. And Father, we make the decision to allow you to be God, yes. to speak unto us, to teach us, to provide for us, to not try to do it ourselves, yes. to protect us. And Father, that your word, which reveals your will, that is what we choose to live by. Yes. You are our God. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. And we just thank you for bringing us into a relationship with you yes. through your son, thank Jesus you, Christ. For that we give you praise thank you Father. in jesus name in jesus name. amen amen praise god now some may think this is not important amen that it's just semantics but listen if if we don't allow god we had to allow jesus into our hearts he didn't come kicking down our door amen the bible says he says i knock and if any man will let me in amen we have to open that door and let god into our lives and if we don't do that then someone else is going to have the final say so either we ourselves or somebody else amen who is not the true and living god so it is so critical that we allow god to be our god because it's only then that we can have liberty and freedom remember who the son makes free is free indeed and the son makes free those who allow him into their lives god bless you until next time be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails.